Hey guys, welcome to lesson 14.5, day three, and this is fractional parts of a set. Okay, so remember last week we looked at fractions as a whole or part of a set, and we were looking at some apples and flowers. We looked at groups. Remember, we had these 12 apples that were split into four groups and three-fourths of them were red. So we figured out that nine is three-fourths of 12. Does that make sense? Three, six, nine out of 12 is the same as three groups out of four. So nine is three-fourths of the number 12. We looked at some cute little rubber duckies and we also looked at different ways that you can write whole numbers as fractions. So remember, we can put the same number as the numerator and denominator, like 5 over 5 would be the whole thing, or 1. And then you can also put a 1 under any number, and that's the same as saying 3 divided by 1 is 3. Okay, so that's just some ways that we can write whole numbers as fractions. So today, we're going to be doing some more with finding the fractional parts of a set. So we can see here, it's telling us that there are 20 plates in the set and that 15 out of 20 are blue. So we can see that from the picture. We have our 5, 10, 15, 20, and we can see that 15 of them are blue and five of them are yellow. We know that we can split those 20 plates into four equal groups, right? Because 20 divided by four groups would give us five plates in each group. So we also know after we have split them into our four groups, we can see that three out of four of those groups are the blue plates. And we know that in that group of three-fourths, we have 15 plates. So that means that three-fourths of the number 20 is 15. So now let's look at it another way using a bar model. So here's our bar model. We can see that our total is 20, so that's on the top. Remember with our little doohickey that's showing us that the 20 is all of the bars put together. Then we can see that we have one, two, three, four equal groups, just like we had up top. And we can see that one, two, three of the groups is what we're trying to figure out. So we're trying to figure out what would three out of four groups be when we start with the number 20. So in other words, what is three fourths of the number 20? So all we need to do is figure out what is 20 divided by four. So that tells us what each unit's gonna be. Okay, so let's look down here. We know that we have a total of four units. Okay, so we're going to call each little piece of this bar model a unit. So one unit would be the same as 20 divided by 4. Okay, so we know that our four units is 20. And then we can see that here, four units is 20. That's the whole thing. And we know that it's split into four equal pieces. And we know that one unit would be 20 divided by 4. And we know that 20 divided by 4 is 5. So that means that one unit is 5. Just like up here, one unit was 5, right? There was 5 here, 5 here, 5 here, and 5 here, just like on this bar model. There's 5 in this group, 5 in this group, five in this group, and five in this group. Now we can also figure out, since we know that each unit is five, we can figure out that three of them 
would be the same as 5 times 3, or 15. 5, 10, 15. So we just figured out that 3 fourths of the number 20 is 15. And we did that by dividing it into equal groups and then counting how many were in three of those groups. Okay, let's look at what we have down here. It says John has 20 toy cars. Three fifths of the toy cars are yellow. How many toy cars are yellow? So what we're really doing here is we're figuring out what is three fifths of the number 20 because we know there are 20 cars to start with, okay? So we can see from the picture that the 20 toy cars have been split into five equal groups. So if we look, this is one group, two groups, three groups, four groups, five groups. So if we, it's kind of like what we did up top, but this time we're saying 20 divided by five instead of 20 divided by four. So this time we end up with four in each group. So here's a group of four, here's a group of four, group of four, group of four, group of four, five groups of four. Okay, so we can see that in three out of five, those cars are yellow. So this one, two, three, or four, eight, twelve. So we can see that 12 out of a total of 20 is yellow. That means that 12 is 3 fifths of 20. Let's look at that using a bar model on the next page. Okay, so it says find 3 fifths of 20 to find out how many cars are yellow. So on the first page, we could just count those yellow cars, but here we're gonna actually use the bar model. So first we know that we're splitting the 20 into five equal groups. We know that five units, so five units is 20. Notice how up top on the bar model we can see we've got our one, two, three, four, five equal parts or units and the total is 20. So if we took all five of them and added them all together, we would have 20. So that means we can look at this bar model and say, oh, okay, we know our total is 20. To figure out what one of these units is, we have to divide 20 divided by five, since we have our five equal groups. We know that 20 divided by five is four because if we were to count by the number four five times, we would get to 20. Let's try it. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20. There you go. Now we can figure out that three of those groups, because that's where our question mark is, so we know we're trying to figure out how many would be in three groups of four. So we know there's four in each group, so all we have to do is count by four, three times. Four, eight, 12. So that means that three units out of our total of five units is 12. So three-fifths of 20, or three out of five, is 12. So that means 12 toy cars are yellow, just like we saw on the first page, and this time we did it by dividing. Pretty cool. Okay guys, so if you want to do the let's practice page at home, you can definitely do that. Um, you can either print this out, it's right here in the student edition on Think Central. So you would go to page 153 and it goes on to page 154. So if you are able to print that out, you can print it out and do it, or you can just do it out loud with mom or dad or grandma or brother or sister, somebody who can just make sure that you are understanding it and getting the idea. 
also then tomorrow is going to be a review day and I'm going to put that review into Google Classroom so you can do some review of fractions. And then Wednesday will be the Think Central math test and I will get that added um, by Wednesday so we can do that, get our fractions test out of the way and then we can move on to um, we're going to skip over chapter 15 and come back to it later if we have time. We're going to move into chapter 16 because we really got to get through all of that information on telling time and a lot of fun stuff with that. So I will see you soon.